I guess I kind of uh, came accidentally to the um, area of vocabulary assessment because as a vocabulary researcher, I've um, been mostly concerned with designing instruction and, and coming up with the kinds of language interactions, getting kids to really interact with language and use language, um, and, and teaching them sophisticated words. But in order to evaluate how well the instruction went, we needed some measures and found that most measures that are available um, are pretty poor at uh, figuring out what kids have gotten from especially a rich vocabulary assessment. We just we didn't want to know whether they just could repeat the definitions for us. We really wanted to know could they use the words, what did they know about the words. So that forced us to develop a lot of our own assessments. I've done lots of work with teachers and frequently when I talk to teachers, a big question I get asked is, how do we assess vocabulary? How do we measure? If we're going to do this instruction in vocabulary, how do we know if, if our kids are getting anything from it? And it's, it's hard. It's, it's hard to come up with good assessments. The practical implication is that vocabulary is an incredibly important area, especially um, in the area, era of common core standards where more complex texts have more complex vocabulary. We need to address students' vocabulary needs and know how to do that and what they're getting from it. And so unless we have richer and more sensitive vocabulary measures, we're not going to be able to get that kind of information. So we need better assessments in, in classrooms and, and at the, um, the, the broader level, not just ones that individual teachers use, but ones that, that schools use so that we have a much more detailed and richer idea of what is it students know about the words that are in their vocabulary um, or the words that they're being exposed to in, in texts and, and in classes, because only then will teachers know how to address those needs. So our aim is to uh, expand and reimagine the nature of vocabulary assessment. And our overall goal is to develop a set of recommendations for teachers and for researchers um, about productive ways to measure vocabulary knowledge and growth. And our perspective is that in order to be meaningful, vocabulary assessments need to capture what learners can do with the words that they, that they know. Um, so assessment tasks should reflect uh, how we use vocabulary. So typically when we're reading a text, for example, we don't have to recall the meaning of every single word we're reading. What we have to do is to access um, some associations and um, how they relate to other words in the context and integrate words in order to come up with the meaning of a text. So that's the, the kind of direction that we think is, is productive and meaningful in, in assessment. So what, what we aim to do is to bring together scholars across uh, the community. So we, we really have three distinct groups. We have education researchers who've worked on vocabulary interventions, typically instruction in classrooms with teachers. We have assessment people who've worked on some large-scale assessments like NAEP, like the SAT. And we have linguists, um, uh, psycholinguists, computational linguists, who have a much broader view of language and use and see what they have to say about how we might uh, think about and examine vocabulary. The kind of knowledge that needs to be assessed is not definitional. It is um, what, is, what, what can students do with the words that they know and how, do, how useful are those words that they're supposedly learning or that they supposedly know? How do they use them? That, I think that's, the, that's what I'd want people to be thinking about.